at the Girding Theater in the Pearl District in downtown Portland. We're having a lot of fun down here. You should come out, check the December schedule, a lot to choose from. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Well, there's a show that's making quite a hit around here. It's making Portland its home. It's called Grimm. Take a look. This Detective Burkhardt sent a unit to Berman, Routeport, and Associates and take an attorney into protective custody. Her name's Adeline Shade. Ms. Shade. Captain Renard, these are Detectives Griffin and Burkhardt. It's sort of a dark show, but that's exactly what the executive producer and director says Portland is suited for. Please welcome Norberto Barba. Thank you very much for being with us. Boy, you've you got to be excited how well this is doing. Oh, very excited, very excited. Now, how, how come Portland is, is suited so well for a show like this? Well, Portland has uh, this incredible look where you have old bones, and new, and new uh, settings. So you have um, the forest, you're surrounded by forest. Grimm uh, borrows everything from the Brothers Grimm, which a lot of the stories were set in the Black Forest in Germany. And, and, and what's good about this is this takes place in the present time, so we can have these eerie, grim locations, but always have this sense that we're in the 21st century. You have these great buildings, that old brewery buildings, and within them you have modern uh, amenities and a modern look. And what we want to, the audience to feel is that these creatures are among us now. Now, David Giantoli, who is, is the lead, he plays a homicide detective, who is a descendant of the Brothers Grimm. So, so tell me how the storyline goes. Well, um, he's a homicide detective in the Portland Police Department. And he starts having these weird visions of people looking like creatures. I mean, he thinks he's going insane. But his dying aunt relates to him that he's actually one of the last in a long line of descendants of the Brothers Grimm. And that the Brothers Grimm weren't fairy tale writers. Instead, they were actually the first profilers. And they took copious notes. And they said that these creatures represent this. A, a wolf represents this. And that by having this gift where you can see them, you can actually either defend or help, because some of these creatures are actually benevolent creatures. Mm -hmm. And uh, he starts using this gift, once he accepts it, in his police work. Now, Portland, pros and cons about shooting outside of L.A.? Pros. Well, um, L.A. As a, as a city, shooting, most of the people are jaded. You, can't, you go into a neighborhood and you shoot on, they're like, oh, no, another film shoot. And what I found here in Portland is we're actually embraced and say, yeah, come on, shoot. You know, uh, this is really cool for us. And people are seeing a side of Portland, actually familiarizing themselves throughout the country of what Portland looks like. Some people have an image of Portland being uh, all this just stuck in the woods or something like that. And we're actually showing uh, a very hip side of the town. We're showing uh, the, the restaurants. We're showing... Uh, also the nature aspect of it. And um, also um, the people are excited about having us, and uh, which is different from being somewhere like in LA or New York. You were telling me in shows such as Breaking Bad, you're gonna have to pull out of an actor pool from LA and bring him to New Mexico. That's not always the case here, filming in the Northwest, is it? No, surprisingly not. In fact, uh, we've been blessed in terms of a lot of the crew are from here, and uh, we found great acting pool here uh, especially of character actors and uh, some of transplanted LA folk and others uh, come from Seattle but most of them come from Portland and there's a big theater community here in fact we've pulled people from Ashland uh, who appear in the Shakespeare Festival and there's a lot of talent uh, that Portland has all right so it's a dark show it shows on Friday nights is Friday night the best day and time slot for you? Well, traditionally, Friday has been a genre night. Uh, I think it's not a coincidence that uh, Fringe and Supernatural are in that same night. Um, and it's also a, a night that gives us a little bit of more um, chance to grab an audience. You know, the numbers don't have to be exceedingly high to remain on the air. And yet we've been having these nice numbers and we're very happy with that. Well, we wish you a lot of uh, luck in getting picked up for another nine episodes, and I'm sure you'll tell us all about it when it happens, and it's going to happen. Remember, NBC, 9 o'clock, Friday night's grim. Watch. So glad you're with us. Take care, everyone.